Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Enerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelleros. He's here early. Well, it's going to happen anyway, so hold your breath and jump in. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. All in good time, cousin. This is your day, not mine. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Ah, my little girl. It's... The last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, Best not to mention it to your betrothed. Later. Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Yes, that she was. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Are you surprised? Apparently your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. Great. I'll spend the next 50 years with a nice girl who hides grain away for the winter. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Von Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you.
Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I... I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl Sun started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. A pleasure. Sora said much of you. Some of it was even positive. Hey, I just wanted to give you a sporting chance to run. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I'll spend every waking moment learning to make you happy. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll come find you. Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. I'm more worried about some of our boys. Wine is flowing, and I don't think we want another incident. Let's do this quickly. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. <laughs> what manner of unpleasantness might you be referring to? I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. And I refuse yet again. Now what? She keeps her composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Caelan summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding. The two, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Oh, Soros. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here, with Nelleros's blushing bride in tow. You look radiant. It looks like everyone's ready. You too, cousin. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord! This is an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party. And uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! <laughs> if you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. 
Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all. <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. Don't worry, I won't let them take you. Ah, oh, yes. Such a well-formed little thing. You villains! Oh, that's quite enough. I'm, uh, I'm sure we all want to avoid further um, unpleasantness. That wouldn't be much of a party now, would it? Oh, we are going to have some fun. <laughs> Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Stop it. You're driving me insane. Oh, thank the Maker you've come to. We were so worried. We're scared but unharmed. So far. They locked us in here to wait until that bastard is ready for us. Forgive me if I don't hold my breath. The door is locked and solid, and we're unarmed. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Great. Now this again. Look, we'll do what they want. Go home and try to forget this ever happened. She's right. It'll be worse if we resist. It'll be worse if we don't. Someone's coming. Hello, wenches. We're your escorts to Lord Vaughan's little party. Stay away from us! <laughs> you killed her! I suppose that's what happens when you try teaching whores some respect. Now, you grab the little flower cowering in the corner. Horace and I'll take the homely bride and the drunk. You two, find the last one. Lord Vaughan likes her look and wants to keep her for last. Don't worry. We'll be perfect gentlemen. Now you heard the captain. Be a good little wench or you'll end up like your friend there. That's a good girl. Uh, hello? Oh, look at this. A little elfling with a stolen sword. Oh, sod. Let's get started. Excellent! Right. On it. This should be easier. On it. Let's get started. I can't believe they killed her. Are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? That Grey Warden Duncan gave Nella Ross and me his sword and crossbow, but that's all we have. He can't interfere, he said. Something about the Grey Wardens being neutral. Nella Ross is guarding the end of the hall. Let's figure this out with him. See? I told you there'd be more. Elves run in packs, like rodents. Should we keep the knife-eared bitch alive? They killed our boys. She dies. Don't worry, sweet thing. They're being taken care of. When Lord Vaughan's done with them, we get our turn. I sent something down. Yeah! On it, on it. <laughs> right, this should be easy enough. As you wish. I think someone is watching out for us. Nellaros. I'm so sorry. Yes, of course. My, my. What have we here? 
Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? All right. Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. Please, just... Get me out of here. I want to go home. Think for a minute. Kill me and you ruin more lives than just your own. By dawn, the city will run red with elven blood. Think about it. You know how this ends. Or we could talk this through. Now that you have my undivided attention. You think people care about elven whores? You think my father will ignore my death simply because I used some animals as they were meant to be used? A poor word choice, perhaps, but you understand. You'd risk everything you know on petty revenge. But cousin, what if he's right? They'll purge the alienage again. If you're sure, I'm with you. Ta! I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. As you wish. This should be easy enough. As you wish. Idle time is wasted time. Let's get on it. He's he's dead. Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. I'm not regretting it. It's just... J never mind. I I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. D don't leave me alone. Please. Please take me home. <laughs> so much blood. I, I can't stand to look at it. It's... Everywhere. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? Good. Good. Uh, uh. Is she going to be all right? Shani's strong. She'll recover. Uh, we should go. Soon, as in now. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. Nelaros, too. The guards killed him. I see. Would the rest of you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? Then the garrison could already be on their way. You have little time. The guards are here! Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. I seek Valendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, Elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. You expect me to believe one woman did all of that? We are not all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeon until the Arl returns. The rest of you, back to your houses. Captain, a word if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. Son of a... Very well, Grey Warden. 
I cannot challenge your rights. But I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city. Today. Agreed. Now I need to get my men on the street before this news hits. Move out! You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. For the moment, they are fine. There are far more important matters arising that endanger more than just your people. I needed a Grey Warden, and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. Indeed. It only saddens me that it has taken this for you to find it. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one, and make her keep you. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry this isn't helping. Take care, my girl. Be safe. And wise. And... Well, you know. We'll all miss you. There you are. Thank you. For me, for Saurus, for everything. I will, I swear it. Shiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Good luck, and thank you again. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? I'm all right. As far as the others know, Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. Make her watch over you. Are you ready to go? Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. <laughs>